As someone who builds more than a couple of PCs every year, I can say that there is nothing in this world that I hate more than RGB fans. Why? See for yourself ah! Unless you're building in a full tower, these super long cables are just completely unnecessary. And don't get me started on fan and RGB hubs. I'm talking about only fan hubs. Anyways, these IQ Link products from Corsair are supposed to fix all that. So let's see if they can really make RGB great again. Too much? Hi. No joke, complain. Joke, inappropriate. I don't know what you want. There are a couple of ways for you to get IQ Link into your system. Either buy an AIO cooler like this IQ Link H150i RGB, or the fans themselves, which are available in both 120mm and 140mm variants. The fans are available individually or in packs of 3 with the QX120 and packs of 2 with the QX140. But since you need a system hub to get started, if you're not buying an AIO cooler, you're gonna have to get a pack of fans instead. Speaking of the hub, this tiny little thing is the center of the entire IQ Link system. Compared to the Commander Pro, which was quite a pain to fit into this Compact 2000D, this system hub is literally half the size and it supports up to 14 devices. Every one of these fans as well as the pump will be considered as a separate device, totaling 7 devices in our case. But if you are super extra and you have more than 14 devices, you can even link up a couple of these hubs together. The setup is pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. All you have to do is daisy chain your fans via the magnetic connections either directly or with the included extension cables, then proceed to screw them in place as well as install the AIO cooler if you're using one. So we ran into a little snack here, so this heatsink is just slightly too wide over here for me to fit the third fan inside, so we're gonna have to run this with two fans instead of three. Next, find a spot for your system hub or hubs plural and hook them up to the first or final fan of your chain with another extension cable, the motherboard via the USB 2.0 cable, and the PSU via the 6-pin PCIe connector. And you're done! That's 4 cables for the entire system. In comparison, our old system with the H150i Elite LCD XT and AF120 RGB Slim fans had 2 cables for each fan. 3 for the pump, 3 for the Commander Pro for a total of 18 cables. That's at least 1 to 2 hours of cable management time that you're saving. Also, clearing up all that cable clutter could positively impact your system's airflow, especially in a smaller build like this. Booting up IQ, you'll see that every single one of these devices get detected automatically. Just make sure that you have the newest version installed. Uh, that is quite a bit more hassle-free compared to the Commander Pro, which can be a little iffy sometimes when you have multiple devices connected to it. One thing that I should note is that if you're using an AIO cooler, make sure that it's connected to the other port in the system hub and not daisy-chained off your other fans or else uh, some of the fans might not work properly and you'll get a notification in the app. Finally, let's see how this IQ Link liquid cooler and fans combo perform compared to the old one. Just for the airflow fan, I'm going to leave this fan hanging like that and that should simulate having a third fan in this entire system. Compared to our older setup, while GPU temps remain largely similar, CPU temps are significantly lower with our new IQ Link setup. In my opinion, the AF120 Slim fans that came with the case might have decent airflow, but they probably have lower static pressure when compared to these full-size QX120 fans, which ultimately meant that less cool air was getting into the case to then be fed to the radiator fans in exhaust. When it comes to acoustics, however, in the balance balance mode that you'd most likely set your fans to, uh, the IQ Link system is slightly louder when we were gaming but very much louder when we ran the ADA64 stress test uh, compared to the original setup. The default fan curves work fine but I would tweak them a little if you enjoy some peace and quiet or just set everything to quiet mode. To be honest, I think that this could be one of the biggest innovations that we've seen in the PC cooling space in the past 5 years or so. Uh, previously, I would avoid lights with my fans in smaller builds because I didn't want to deal with the hassle of cable managing them. But 
with a system like this, I could see myself using RGB a lot more in small form factor builds. This IQ Link tech is just making our lives a whole lot easier. But of course, with every new technology, as an early adopter, you're gonna have to pay a tiny premium. Compared to a similar system without IQ Link from Corsair, you're looking at about a 10% premium. In my opinion, if you're building in a small built like that is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, if you're building in a bigger case with more space for cable management, you might not see the benefit as much. But you know what? I always say that money is there for you to buy convenience. Why you got money but like to cari susah bro?